Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is a blue screen, but it's not a blue screen of death. It's Linux, and I'll explain what type of installation of Linux this one happens to be uh, in just a second. Uh, the monitor is sitting on top of the computer system that I'm giving away to one lucky person out there in YouTube land. When we reach 10,000 subscribers in our YouTube channel, we'll make a drawing and then someone at random, complete random, will get the computer. And uh, that's you know my way of saying thank you for supporting everything that we're doing, uh, trying to help people uh, with their hardware, software, and internet problems at live.perillo.com. You have to pardon me, I'm, I'm sucking on a lozenge that happens to be an A&W root beer. Okay, so it's not so much of a lozenge, I just have a sweet tooth. So this is Linux. It's not very exciting because this particular installation of Linux or distribution is DBAN, Derek's Boot and Nuke. It's an open source project, of course, Linux. And what this is doing right now is wiping out the data on my hard drive. In fact, it's not just wiping it out once, it's going over it seven times using the same algorithm as the Department of Defense uses. Yeah, it's that powerful. So uh, why would I run Derek's boot nuke on this computer? Well, because if I'm giving it away, I don't want anybody trying to restore the data on the hard drive. Now, that being said, even though I'm wiping it out seven times over, the data still could, in theory, be retrieved. It would just take someone with a, a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort. And honestly, uh, you know, if, if you want you know, to look at my cookies, uh, I'll email them to you. It's, uh, there's not a lot of sensitive information uh, that happened to be on this machine, but you never know. Uh, if you're giving your computer away, donating it, uh, or even if you're throwing it away, the first thing you need to do if you do not completely destroy those hard drives, I mean destroy, like take a hammer uh, and just bam, 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 destroy it. No chance of getting anything back. Uh, is run a program like Derek's Boot and Nuke. Uh, it's available, uh, as I said, it's open source. Uh, it's just like a couple megabyte download. You can throw it right onto a CD. It boots from a CD, boots from a floppy, boots from a removable disk. It will automatically detect the drives inside your system and then you will be able to easily select. And when I say easy, I mean it's simple. I mean it tells you, press this to do this. You ding, 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 boom. Now, the hope is, is that anything that you had on this system, uh, you would have completely off because you wouldn't want to erase the wrong hard drive. That could be kind of uh, bad because you could get the data back in theory. Going at, at seven passes, it's going to take about 24 hours to go through seven times over with each of the hard drives running. Uh, they're do it's doing it concurrently, by the way. This is, uh, I believe, uh, AMD 64-bit system uh, running on the FX60 platform. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I cracked open the case, but I do know it's got four gigs of memory in there. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm throwing as much hardware around the hard drives as I can at the hard drives. Uh, I've got a load average right now, three, two, and one approximately. Um, throughput's approximately 85, 447 kilobytes per second. Uh, so that's it's doing pretty good. It's going to still take a while. I mean, it's got to go over that hard drive seven times over. Each hard drive seven times over. So I'm definitely throwing a lot at it. Uh, I'm I bowing down to mockage. I don't know about mockage, but uh, anyway, uh, this is the computer. Uh, it is, as I said, no slouch, uh, not by any stretch of the imagination. It's been good to us. Uh, and then after I'm done uh, wiping out the drives, I'm going to throw Ubuntu on it. So that way I, I'm sending a system uh, that has no, uh, well, any licenses attached to it necessarily, uh, completely, at least that I know of, completely open source. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd tell you how I go about wiping out hard drives. Uh, as I said though, uh, no method is foolproof. Um, if someone has a lot of money and a lot of time and a real need and desire to get that data back, they might be able to, but the chances of that happening are, well, you probably have a better chance of getting struck by a meteor 
than that happening. Um, how do you get the computer? Uh, by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And uh, if you go to the chat room, type in what is YouTube, you can get a link directly to our YouTube uh, channel. And uh, you'd be surprised. We gave away a, a laptop a few months ago to Kenny, and Kenny loves it. He was, he, uh, he, he, he was uh, kind of mocked and chastised for a little while in the chat room, but we all forgave him, I guess. We've been giving away webcams every week. Of course, we've got our Nintendo DS giveaway for uh, iTunes reviews of our podcast. And uh, we'll continue to give stuff away, uh, in including open source software. We're giving it away every day. I'm just kidding. If you know of a, another method or maybe a better method, uh, by all means. <laughs> Zedlos hates Kenny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zedlos. Uh, anyway, leave a suggestion, a remark, follow up. Uh, interested in seeing what other kind of uh, resources are out there for, for doing this. I don't think it's going to get any more secure than this or any safer or any faster. I mean, uh, you know, wiping out data is pretty much wiping out data so long as you're doing it safely and securely. And if, the, if it's good enough for the Department of Defense, darn it, it's good enough for me. And hopefully, uh, the person who wins the computer will either A, know nothing, <laughs> or B, not just, just, just not care. <laughs> you know? uh, I guess I'll have to uh, uh, install uh, nothing but crazy things in Ubuntu so that the chances of any data getting recovering are slim to none. Actually, that's not a bad idea. If you, if you donate a computer, just throw a copy of Ubuntu or another Linux distro on it. Uh, and uh, that way, the person who gets the computer doesn't have to worry about fussing with, well, other operating systems. Anyway, uh, we hope to hear from you soon. We're uh, around chatting in our chat room 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, hope to see you there soon at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.